ओके डन सी लेट स्टार्ट विथ एडोपन इन फॉरेस्ट एंड ग्रासलैंड एनिमल्स ओके सो सम कार्निवरस एनिमल लाइक वाइल्ड डॉग फॉक्स एंड टाइगर वॉट दे हैव दे हैव देयर लेग्स वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग सो दैट दे कैन रन फास्ट एंड कैप्चर देयर प्रे ओके दे हैव क्लॉज एंड देयर टीथ आर कैनाइन एंड शार्प एंड दे आर ऑल्सो पॉइंटेड सो दैट दे कैन टेयर द फ्लैश ऑफ देयर प्रे the tigers have padded paws that uh, why why they have padded paws so that they, they can uh, walk silently to their prey and capture it very easily okay uh, the eyes of this uh, this carnivores are located in front in front of their heads that helps them to spot their prey from a very long distance okay then how the herbivorous animals are uh, habitat okay uh, see they uh, their eyes are below their forehead on either side of the head okay why because that uh, these eyes help them to give a wide angle vision which helps them to protect from their predator their legs are strong long and tapering okay uh, so that they can run very fast taking a long leaps a uh, black bug and deer like animal can take black, long leaps that we all know because of their strong hooves and uh, hairs uh, sorry leg structure are long and tapering then their long and freely moving ears can receive the sound of their predator from a very long distance okay deer and blackbirds have the uh, colors what is adaptation is there or another adaptation they have their color merged with their surrounding so that they can be uh, they can get uh, they can be be safe from their predators next is adaptation in desert animals the desert animals have thick skin so that the loss uh, loss of the water from their body can be prevented okay their legs are also long flat and cushion soles they have cushion soles so that the uh, they cannot go deeply inside the sand the nostrils are protected by the fold of skin so that the sand could not get into their nose eyelashes are long and thick from the prevention uh, from prevention uh, to prevent them from the sand okay and most of the animals like rats snakes spiders lizards which are present in deserts mostly active during the night time and in the day time they goes into the burrows then we saw adaptation in animals of snowy region what is the adaptation for them what are the animals present present in this snowy region yak polar bear white fox and silver fox okay and mountain goat also siberian husky dog and snow leopard what is the adaptation they have white and silver body color so that they can hide in they can hide themselves into the snow okay they have very long and thick hair on the skin so that they, uh, their skin and they can be prevented from the cold then adaptation in the aerial animal their body is spindle shaped okay so that it minimize it can minimize the resistance of air while they are flying okay they have hollow bones and body is covered with feathers the modification what modification has done done into that into them the four legs are converted into wings their body is light and their weight is very low so that they can easily fly into the sky insects are also included in this they they also have the light weight their body tapers at both the ends and they can fly with two pairs of wings and they can also walk with their six stick like legs okay kathan parmane tanche paay astat saha with uh, help of that they can fly then adaptation in reptiles what adaptation how reptiles are adapted to their environment they have a scaly structure on their body okay and they have claw toes thin soles and uh, some snakes have also this scaly skin then adaptation for food in animals how are animals are adapted adapted for their food see we can see that animals as uh, we can categorize the animals like herbivorous and carnivorous okay so uh, special adaptations are also done in this type of animals for the process of 
for making the process of feeding easy okay then adaptation uh, yes uh, like eating how how they are adapted some animals have sharp teeth like lion and tiger to tear the flesh some animals have long and pointed beak so that uh, they can make uh, they can break eat uh, they can uh, break the nut and fruits very easily yes uh, animals like frog have long and sticky tongue so that they can capture their food uh, capture their food from a very long distance yes some animals have long neck like giraffe so that he can eat uh, leaves of uh, tall trees like this then adaptation for blending with surrounding see we cannot easily spot a colorful butterflies lizard and grasshopper in a garden if the lizard is there on a bark of tree we cannot easily spotify it okay they get in uh, camouflage amidst grasses parts of plants like stem leaves flowers etc and that is that is why why we cannot spotify them because their color easily blends with their surrounding and that is a main adaptation an animal can carry for them okay so uh, the dep depending upon the habitat and its geographical condition animals change their their organs or life processes okay so that they can live feed and reproduce in that particular surrounding and that particular habitat this all is called as adaptation yes how the animals are classified by the uh, method of binomial nomenclature okay so we have completed this yes we have completed the question answers also now the question uh, lesson number 2 shall we start with lesson number 2 okay see what was our lesson number 2 plants their structure and their function what we have done in this see how many parts are there of plants roots stem leaves flowers fruits and uh, some different parts are there for plants so first we have done with roots okay the part of the root that grows inside the seed towards the soil is called as radical and that part and the part of root which grows above the soil is called plumule what is the function of root root supports the plant okay see roots of some plants produce the secondary roots and that grow obliquely and spread far wide in the soil okay this type of roots are called tap roots some roots bear the hair like structure these are called as root hairs and uh, the tip of root is very delicate and it is very important to carry out all the nutrients and water to the plant so that uh, so that uh, root tip is covered with a cap like structure and it is called as root cap okay so that root uh, root cap what uh, root cap does what is the function of the root cap it prevents the root tip from any type of injuries there are also some roots which are thread like and fiber like structures which are called as fibrous roots okay then we have learn about the advantageous roots also okay what are the advantageous roots is yes, my voice is breaking for everyone please check okay okay so uh, for uh, whoever my voice is breaking you can leave and join again please now advantageous roots some plants like maize sugarcane and sorghum have two types of roots some are underground whereas some grow from the stem and these uh, which are uh, growing from the stem are called as the advantageous roots okay roots so also show some modification to perform the additional function and uh, such such roots are called as modified roots which are aerial roots slit roots runners breathing roots etc okay now what we have seen we have seen about stem how what are the parts of the stem growing end bud then nodes leaf and internode 
okay stem grows above the soil from the plumule of the sprouting seed and as the sprout grows on the length of the stem gradually increases okay there are some nodes present on the stem leaves come out of the node the part of the stem between two node is called internode okay this part is called as internode then the apical end the very upper end of the uh, stem is called as bud then we have learned about leaf what are the parts leaf apex leaf margin vein mid vein leaf blade petiole stipule and leaf blade okay uh, there are uh, okay the margin of the uh, roots may be, uh, sorry margin of the leaf may be of three types entire dentate and lobed okay tip of the leaf is called as leaf apex that tip may be tapering pointed or rounded some uh, some plants leaves have the stalk also that is called as petiole some uh, some plants some leaves uh, leaves do not have the petiole and the portion of leaf is attached directly to the stem and that is called as the leaf base okay small leaf like structures may be also present near the leaf base which are called as stipules see now simple and compound leaves what are the simple leaves leaves of some plants have a single undivided leaf blade a single mid rib such leaves are called as simple one okay simple leaves and the leaf blade of leaves in some plants are divided into many small parts are called leaflets and such leaves are called as the compound leaves see different types of leaves i have shown like alternate decussate opposite and whorled venation what is venation see the paper leaf is divided into two equal parts by a single mid vein yes you can see that which lies along the mid line of the leaf blade but the secondary veins arise from the mid vein they are branch and form a network of reticulum on the other hand what is with the maize leaf all the veins are parallel running from the leaf base to the leaf apex thus the people leaf is reticulate when people uh, leaf blade has reticulate venation and the maize leaf blade has parallel venation okay then about a flower what uh, what are the parts of flower calyx corolla androecium androecium gynoecium and uh, yes these are the some different parts of flower what are calyx the bud condition of the petal is covered with a leaf like part called sepal which are green in color and they form the calyx of flower corolla this is made up of colorful parts called petal okay uh, then uh, what is a uh, see a corolla we can observe the shape color and smell of corolla of various flowers like rose chrysanthemum hibiscus mogra carnation and tuger then androecium androecium what is androecium it is main it is a male reproductive yes you know that uh, a flower has two types of reproductive system male and female so male reproductive system uh, part is called as androecium it consists of stamen okay then gynoecium gynoecium is a female reproductive part this is made up of carpel and carpel is carpel is consisted of stigma style and ovary then we have learned about fruits also yes we, uh, as we eat many types of fruits each type of fruits have its own characteristics that we all know they are of various colors various shapes and their taste is also different okay their uh, seed content is also different as mango contains only one seed whereas jackfruit contains many seeds okay okay now the seeds seeds which get divided into the two equal parts are called dicotyledons or the seeds which do not divide into two parts are called monocotyledon okay so our dal and uh, many cereals are called as the dicotyledons as we press them we can have the two sides okay okay uh, now yes shall we move to the question answers now okay 
I will ask you the questions uh, which are given in the exercise, and then I will find some from the lesson also. Okay. Yes. Uh, give example of three plants that have spiny fruit. Yes, spiny fruit. Uh, sorry, spiny fruits. Yes, jackfruit and jackfruit, custard apple, tatura. Okay, pineapple. I think lychee is also. Uh, yes, have you seen lychee? Lychee is also spiny fruit, right? i think it is yes yes okay okay jack fruit sorry dragon fruits also good now the spiny stem spiny stem cactus Silk floss, silk cotton trees. Good, Mahika. Yes, cactus, acacia, aloe vera, lemon berry also. Good. Next, yellow flowers. Yellow flowers. Yes, yellow, rose, hibiscus, sunflower, reflexia, sonsaf also, yes. And that kanher which was mentioned, okay, that was all, that is also yellow. Next, leaves which close at night, leaves which close at night, yes, mimosa pudica and Ratrani, Gulmohor also. Okay. Ekasiya also. Yes. Next. Single seeded fruit. Single seeded fruit. Mango, coconut, jamun. Cashew. Yes. Yes, plum and cherry also. Yes, berries also. Good. Now, many seeded fruits. Many seeded jackfruit, guava, apple, orange, watermelon. Yes. Okay. Okay. Describe parts of flowers. Who will? You have to describe parts of flowers. Aditi. Okay, Aditi. Hello. Yes. It uh, flower ha flower have calyx, corolla, androsium, gy gynosium are uh, different parts of a flower. Calyx eat in the bird condition. The petals are covered by leaf like parts called sepals sep that are green in color. They from the calyx corolla this is made up of colorful pa color colorful parts called petals observe the shape observe the shape color and smell of corolla of various flowers like rose hibiscus tagar etc androsium this is the male reproductive part of the flower it con 
it consists of stamens each stamen is made up of another and filament gynoecium this is the female reproductive part of the flower this is made up of carpels a carpel consists consists of stigma uh, style and ovary okay good next okay what are the similarities and differences between jowar and moong what are the similarities and differences between jowar and moong dipika hello ma'am yes similarity similarity is both are food stuffs and differences are jowar is a monocotyledonous and moong is a dicotyledonous plant jowar seed has single cotyledon moong seed has two co co two cotyledonous jowar grain is full of carbohydrates but moong seed is full of proteins jowar grains are seen in cups but moong are pre present in legumes yes very nice next question is onion and coriander onion and coriander yes sanjana hello ma'am yes similarities both are col uh, colos consume consumed in the form of salads they are used as supplement for food stuffs in cooking and also for garnishing garnishing onion is a monocotyledonous plant coriander is di uh, dicotyledonous plant onion is grow grow for seed or its bulb coriander is grow for its seed the edible onion is actually a modified leaf onion uh, coriander and leaf leaf thank you okay good now leaves of banana and mango leaves of banana and mango yes mahika both both the leaves with religious importance and care leaves of banana banana is monocot what is monocotyledonous plant monocotyledon monocotyledon plant mango is dicotyledonous uh, dinus plant banana leaf has parallel venation mango leaf has a uh, radicule venation okay anyone else with this anaga hello ma'am am i audible yes yeah. similarity both the leaves have religious importance and sacred leaves of banana banana is a monocotyledonous plant mango is a dicotyledonous plant banana leaf has parallel venation mango leaf has reticulate venation yes good next is coconut tree and jowar stock plant coconut tree and jowar stock plant yes prathamesh hello ma'am yes similarity similarity is both are mono cotyledonous plant that yield full coconut tree coconut tree is a stronger and very tall jowar stock plant is a tough and weak can be uprooted with ease coconut plant is very needle jowar plant dies soon after the cob and cob is gone grown coconut tree has adventitious root jowar has adventitious and thin root for additional support okay next Okay. Describe the functions of various types of plant. 
first you have to tell uh, sorry parts of plant first you have to tell me the parts of plant and function of each part who will tell okay aditi uh, the root stem leaves flowers fruits etc are the different parts of plants root root ensure the plant to take in their water and nutrients and hold the plant uh, firmly in the ground firmly firmly in the ground stem uh, roots are also absorbers of water and minerals from the soil stem uh, stems are the plants feet stems support the plant in the soil and carry water and nutrients throughout the various parts of plants leaves the leaves collect energy from the sun and make food for the plant using a, uh, using an amazing process it's called photosynthesis photosynthesis, photosynthesis. Uh, flowers and fruits they uh, flowers and fruits they uh, decorate plants uh, feed human and animals and can have a pleasant fragrance fragrance however fruits and plants functions uh, primarily uh, primary uh, in plant reproduction okay good next okay certain properties are mentioned below find a leaf corresponding to each property and describe those plants okay leaves with smooth surface which plant have leaves with smooth surface okay anagha hello ma'am am i audible yes but leaves with smooth surface banana leaf banana plant has smooth leaves which are used as feeding plates in many states of india the banana plant is the largest flowering plant it grows from a structure known as comb it looks like a tall and sturdy tree but its trunk is actually a false stem or pseudo stem the leaves of banana plants are composed of a petiole and a lamina the base of the petiole widens to form a sheath the tightly packed sheaths make up the pseudo stem which supports the plant each pseudo stem normally produces a single inflorescence also known as the banana's heart locally known as kelphul bananas grows from kelphul very nicely explained good next is leaves with rough surface leaves with rough surface yes dipika hello ma'am yes leaves with uh, rough surface parijata leaf parijata tree has rough leaves it is dwarf trees growing to about 10 meters that bears beautiful white flowers with red pedicels the flowers bloom at night and in the morning one can notice a carpet of parijatak flowers under the tree the rough leaves of this tree are extremely medicinal any ayur many ayurvedic and hemophatic drugs are prepared for, from these leaves there are many mythical tales about this tree in indian mythological literature however in english this tree is called tree of sorrow because the flowers cannot sustain the sunlight and dry up soon with a day break yes very nice fleshy leaf fleshy leaf who will explain fleshy leaf yes any other name other than anagha and dipika anyone else okay dhanushree yes ma'am fleshy leaf aloe vera 
Leaves are modified by storage of water. This helps them to survive in space, space place where there is less amount of water available. Okay, good. Next is spines on leaf. Spines on leaf. Okay, Sanjana. Hello, ma'am. Yes. Spines of on leaf, pendulous leaf, kevda. The leaf of blood or lem lemina of kevda. Spines. The kevda is locally known as uh, panda pandanus. The plant of kevda grows to about one meter length. The stem is strong and is of medium size. The leaf from a crown-like structure, uh, structure at the top of the tree. These leaves are pregnant. They are used for decorating. Male and female flower is born on substrate. Sub Plant. Okay. Okay. Now, yes, we have done the questions in the exercise. What are roots? What are roots? How you will define roots? If I ask you to write definition of roots, what you will write in that? Yes, Zipika. Hello, ma'am. Yes. The root that forms from the radical grows into the ground. The root is thick near the ground and gradually tapers to a pointed end. Each part of the plant growing below the soil for support is called root. Okay. What are the tap root? Which type of roots are called as tap root? Aditi? Uh, roots of some plants produce secondary roots that grow ob obliquely and spread far and wide in the soil. Roots support the plant. This type of plant is called a taproot. Okay, obliquely. That word was ob obliquely. Okay. What is root cap? What is root cap? Prathamesh? Hello, ma'am. Yes. The root tip is delicated. This is the region of the growth of the root. The tip is covered by cap-like structure called the root cap. Okay. Okay, now we will take lesson number three. Properties of natural resources. Okay, in that we have learned about properties of air, water and land. See, in the properties of air we have learned about this activity in which what we find out that air is a mixture of gases and therefore like all other matter it also has mass and weight okay then the molecules of the gases in the air are in constant motion they are always in a constant motion and when these molecules strikes a body jeva te ekada body va jaun adhatar te kay kartat tya body var pressure create kartat and this pressure is called as the atmospheric pressure okay sorry Okay, now. Okay, and uh, we have also uh, learned about that piston wala activity. Yes, so what we have uh, found from that, see, uh, we can infer that atmospheric pressure is the same in the 
all direction okay then uh, we have learned about effect of air pressure yes in that we have learned bernoulli's principle also see when there exists a difference in the air pressure at two different places what happens the air starts flowing from the place of higher pressure to the place of lower pressure and what uh, at such time what happens we feel a breeze or a wind blowing thus winds are an effect of the differences in the pressure what is the differences it grows uh, it flows from higher to lower pressure okay Uh, by doing the water droplets experiment when we put ice inside a glass and water droplets we can see uh, from the outer uh, to on the outer surface of the glass we can say that the level of humidity is different in different places okay similarly the humidity levels also changes from time to time like during the period of a single day like see Uh, the level of humidity of the air is determined by its, its capacity to hold water vapor so during the night time or at the dawn the temperature of air is very low and its capacity to hold the vapor is less and at such time what happens the excess vapor is transformed into the water droplets and we call them as dew okay manun aplyala sakai ekdam pahate dau padlela disto in the afternoon when the temperature of air is very high the cap the capacity of air to hold the moisture also increases and then compared to uh, compared to its full capacity to hold water the proportion of moisture of the in the air is less and we feel that air is dry we cannot see the dew during the daytime the proportion of water vapor in the air is high during the monsoon and in in the coastal areas also and as a result what happens we feel the dampness or humidity hawa damat hai asa apan mhanto okay now properties of air uh, see what is another property of air see uh, air has a properties like occupying space having a certain volume having mass and weight also and we have learned that air is mixture of very fine particle of some gases and dust smoke and moisture and when the rays of light fall on this minute particle what happens the particle spread the light in all the direction this natural phenomenon is called scattering of light tumhi tumcha khidki madun enara unha cha ek ekada ray ghevun hi property study karu shakta then what about uh, some properties are also there like temperature regulation and transmission of sound of air okay so temperature regulation what it includes that the earth receives energy from the sun that we all know and this energy is reflected by earth in the form of heat okay the constituents of air surrounding the earth such as water vapor carbon dioxide absorb a part of this heat and give it to other constituents which are already there present in the air and as a result what happens earth surface remains warm and thereby it becomes suitable for the living world on the earth if there were no air on the earth the average temperature of earth surface would have been very low and in that very low temperature we were unable to survive okay then another property was transmission of sound all the sound that we hear reaches through our surrounding air that we all know the density of air is also changes due to change in the temperature in winter what happened the density of air increases and we can hear the whistle of a distant train clearly early in the morning in winter air is also useful as a medium for the transmission of sound okay understood about the properties of air yes got the properties of air okay so let's see some questions based on that only okay the capacity of air to hold moisture depends upon the dash dash of air
okay sorry for the delay what was our question the capacity of air to hold moisture depends upon the dash dash of the air temperature volume mass density humidity acidic weight neutral and shape yes i think it's a humidity of air okay yes okay let me check first let me check you confuse uh, between temperature and humidity right the capacity of air to hold moisture depends upon its air let us study it very well so that we cannot go with the wrong answer where we are learning yes this in the afternoon when the temperature of the air is high the capacity of air I should also increase. This. Yes, it's uh, Deepika and Aditi. Yes, right. You are right. It's temperature. It's temperature. The answer is temperature. Okay, humidity is also dependent upon temperature. The answer for this is temperature. Ice. Uh, yes, Aditi. Ice is lighter than water. You can see if we put ice in our sherbet or a cold drink, it floats. Uh, on that water uh, on that watery uh, on that liquid yes aditi have you seen that jar apan sarbat madhe kiwa cold drink madhe barf takla tar to aplya glassacha varti tarangto ki nahi je kai liquid aplya glassa madhe ahe tachat to varti eto so it is lighter okay our next question now have you uh, cleared that uh, fill up its temperature not humidity next next question okay why is it said that air is a homogeneous mixture of various gases why it is said that who will answer this yes dipika hello ma'am yes there are many constituent gases in the air they are in the form of mixture the separate existence of each gas is not felt the individual gases cannot be separated easily therefore the air is said to be the homogeneous mixture okay okay say whether the statement is true or false the pressure exerted by air is called atmospheric pressure this statement is true or false the pressure exerted by air is called atmospheric pressure it's it's true it's called as an atmospheric pressure okay now write answers to the following question in your own words how is light scattered by the air how is light scattered by the air yes aditi <laughs> air is a mixture of very fine particles of some gases dust smoke and moisture when uh, when rays of light fall on this minute particles the particles spread the light in all the directions this natural phenomenon is called scattering of light okay next do we have any other question related to air in this okay what is the importance of air in transmission of sound what is the importance of air in transmission of sound yes anagha hello ma'am am i audible yes yeah. air is the medium for the transmission of the sound we are able to perceive the sound due to the air around us the sound waves travel through the medium of air and reach us in absence of sound we cannot hear the sound here air is most important most important for the transmission of the sound okay okay uh, let's go with our water also still we have 15 minutes left okay now properties of water see uh, by doing uh, the this type of experiment 
what we have learned okay water occurs in liquid state under ordinary condition and water is a fluid substance water does not have its own shape but it has a volume it can pass through small holes or seep through very small gaps or cracks okay by doing this experiment we have learned this then after this see uh, we have put some object in that in the water and what we have uh, infer about from that ice is lighter than water when water freezes to form ice it becomes lighter than the original li liquid when water freezes that is when it transforms from into the solid state its volume increases therefore what happens the density of ice is less than that of water that is why ice floats on water so density of water there is a interrelation between volume and mass of a substance the space occupied by a substance is its volume and the store of matter in a substance is its mass so density can be calculated as mass upon volume mass is measured in grams and volume in cubic centimeter hence the unit of density is gram per cubic centimeter then we have learned about the anomalous behavior of water what is the anomalous behavior of behavior of water c the density of water is peculiar when water at normal temperature start cooling its density increases like that of a moist liquid however if its temperature falls below 4 degree celsius its density start decreasing this means that the density of water is maximum as 4 degree celsius if the temperature of water is lowered below 4 degree celsius its density decreases and the volume increases it means that water expands when the temperature falls below 4 degree celsius this is called as the anomalous behavior of water okay now uh, we have also done this experiment uh, sorry learn this experiment that uh, we have put potato in a uh, clear water and in a salt solution also so what we have found out uh, from that the density of water in the in that glass is greater due to the dissolved salt okay the, when the salt solution is more dense than the uh, normal solution the potato floats in that water because of the increased density okay when the salt dissolves in water what happens it particles spread in the water slowly they become smaller and smaller and ultimately they become so small that they cannot be seen that is they are mix completely with water okay the purna pane dissolve jhalele astat virghalle astat pane so tyanantar aplyala kay mahita solute solute manje the substance that dissolves that is a salt okay solvent what is solvent the substance in which the solute dissolve ja madhe dissolve jhalela ahe solute tyala apan solvent manna te kay ahe aplya water ani solution ya dogancha mixture manje solution okay what we get when we when the solute solute dissolve into the solvent we get a solution so panacha upyog properties nusar kasha prakare kele jatat water is useful for water transport due to its fluidity water falling down from a height is used to generate electricity with the help of generator water is a good coolant and is used in a motor vehicles to control the temperature of that engine then many substances are soluble in water that we all know and water is called as a universal solvent hence water is used as a solvent in factories laboratories food stuffs and in various types of biological processes occurring in the body such as digestion excretion etc water is useful for cleaning purposes such as bathing and washing clothes also okay done done with water shall we take questions based on that yes okay water does not have a dash dash but has definite dash dash and dash dash yes okay it does not have shape but it has mass and volume okay
while freezing the dash dash of water is lowered while freezing the dash dash of water is lowered density yes while freezing what happens the density of water is lowered hence ice can float on water okay why it is said that water is a universal solvent yes water is a universal solvent why it is said that okay anagha hello ma'am yes many substances easily dissolve in water therefore water is said to be a universal solvent okay the next one is there is no alternative to water for cleaning purposes that we can use only water for cleaning yes aditi many substances can uh, dissolve in water therefore uh, for bath bathing cleaning uh, cleaning utensils and washing clothes water become very useful solvent uh, uh, it is chief easily available remedy for cleaning purpose therefore it is said uh, it is said that there is no alternative to water for cleaning purpose yes good next uh explain the various properties of water explain the various properties of water yes dipika hello ma'am hello yes yes you can Water occurs in liquid state under ordinary conditions. Water is a fluid substance. Water does not have its own shape, but has a volume. It can pass through small holes or seep through very small gaps or cracks. Okay. Next is why is the density of sea water more than that of the rain water? Yes. Sanjana, will you answer this? Okay, Mahika. We dissolve or dissolve salts in the. sea water therefore the density of sea water is more than the rain water okay why should a glass bottle completely filled with water never be kept in a freezer why should not why we should not use a glass bottle which is completely filled in a freezer yes prathamesh hello ma'am Yes. Due to aluminium expansion of water, it expands while getting frozen. When the temperature goes below four degrees Celsius, the density of water starts decreasing, and at the same time, the volume increases. Temperature in freezer is always less than four degrees Celsius. This causes expansion of the water. Due due to expansion, the body may burst. But the water may burst. Water is made of of glass. Glass. The broken glass piece may cause harm. Therefore, the bottle glass bottle should not keep be in freeze and completely filling them. Very nicely explained. Good. Okay, so we are going to stop over here because we have just five minutes left. We cannot complete our soil part and the question based on that. We'll be dealing it with in the next lecture. Okay. so you can leave the class thank you for answering all the questions bye bye everyone bye 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 man bye bye